Hi everyone! In this video we're going to talk to you about traveling with our dog from El Salvador to Guatemala. So when uh, we had uh, our tickets and we knew the date that we are going like to travel to Guatemala, so we contacted a clinic in El Salvador. Actually it was the same clinic that uh, we were treating uh, Leo, our dog, to. Uh, we're gonna actually have one video just about the, our experience uh, treating our dog over seats uh, from Canada, our experience from Canada to Mexico City and then going through like different countries and treating him. Uh, but this is a, a separate video just about that. Uh, but in El Salvador, so we contacted the same clinic that was treating him and doing the, the follow-ups that he needed to do for his eye problem. So I asked them about uh, a health certificate and the vaccination certificate because these are the documents that we needed to uh, have with us uh, to, to go to Guatemala. So uh, the clinic was very, uh, very, very, very helpful. Uh, we recommend if uh, you choose to, to do that in El Salvador, that you ask the clinic to take care of everything. Apparently there is uh, three stamps that you need to have in the documents that uh, you need to go to three different government branches to get these three stamps. So for us, and we don't speak Spanish, like we have a very basic understanding. So for us it was a huge plus the fact that the clinic could take care of all of that. And then we just went for the consultation that uh, they just to check the, the overall health of the dog and then uh, pay for the certificate that was in total in US dollars and the consultation 20 uh, US dollars. So in total we paid 100 uh, US dollars for all the paper and all the work that was supposed to be done, that was, had to be done, so we could travel uh, with Leo uh, in the cabin to Guatemala. Another huge plus is that uh, I was talking directly to the vet that was preparing all the documents through WhatsApp. So everything she needed uh, from us, any document, any information, she was just sending me a message and I would provide whatever, like she was asking, passport, copies, uh, other health certificates that Leo had and everything else to be able, so she could do all the work for us to have all the documents. So I really, really recommend that uh, you, if they offer the service, you can uh, just do it because it saves you a lot of time too and a lot of headache because you don't maybe don't speak the language, you don't know the office that you need to go. So it was a huge plus that the clinic could take care of everything. Then uh, another thing very, very important is to add the dog to the uh, ticket, the plane ticket that you know your flight, in your flight with you. So. Uh, we were not lucky, but there was an office, a Vianca office in downtown San Salvador that we could go and then they could actually, uh, we could just pay for him and then they would just give you a receipt that the pet was included in your ticket and it was extremely easy compared to the experience that I had in Mexico, which they completely ignored any of our communication in actually in actually in San Salvador they took care of it in like in five minutes I was at uh, I, I went to the office they called me I told them that I wanted to add a pet in the cabin they asked me the weight of the dog the, the breed the, the size and everything else that they always ask uh, I paid uh, the fee that was 135 US dollars and there I was leaving like in five minutes I was leaving the office very 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 easy very very no problem at all no headaches so that was our experience too and very easy to deal with in San Salvador uh, the Avianca office is inside of a shopping mall called Multiplaza shopping mall 
So the store is on the ground floor, actually very close even to the street. So as soon as you enter through the door, the right door, uh, the office is gonna be right there. So you can just go and then pay for your fees. But don't, don't forget, it's Multiplaza Shopping Mall. It's where there is an Avianca office. Uh, so you can actually pay for any fees that you need to pay for your trip. Yeah. Then uh, when we were leaving at the airport also, it was very smooth. We didn't have any issues like checking in because we had a pet or anything. Uh, we just showed his documents at the counter when we were getting our boarding passes. And uh, then the check-in was done. Very smooth. And the lady at the counter, I think she was also uh, being trained, no? She was new. Yes. But very sweet and uh, very smooth. And it went very well. They didn't check anything else, like uh, as I mentioned in one of our previous videos, sometimes at the airport they might measure the dog, the size, the height, and then the bag has to have a specific dimension. Nothing like that. Very smooth. Then we went through security, and even through security there was no issue, very smooth. Everybody is very, very friendly, very, very relaxed. Uh, we really, really felt a little bit uh, nostalgic that we were actually leaving uh, El Salvador because we really had a great time there. And uh, the flight to Guatemala also was very like relaxed and uh, nothing specific. Arriving in uh, Guatemala, we just had to um, go to the office responsible for uh, pets that have arrived in the country. Uh, we had basically three copies of the documents that they gave us from the clinic in El Salvador. And um, at that office, they stamped them, they kept one copy, and uh, they gave us uh, one more for us to keep as proof that we have gone to them and uh, the dog has entered the country legally. And uh, one last point to mention is there is no fee to pay for this uh, also at the Guatemala airport when you arrive. They just do it for you and uh, the staff at that airport too, very friendly, they played with the dog, uh, uh, they were very very sweet, uh, nothing major and uh, we just left the terminal, uh, it was very smooth. So that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel, you will give us a like and stay tuned for more videos like this because we will have some other videos coming up uh, similar to this one regarding our experience traveling with our dog.